What's going on guys, Bengal again here. For the big week seven we talked about, and this is the reason why you hit the subscribe button. Jared Goff versus Matthew Stafford. The Rams are one in five. We were actually rolling three wins in a row after starting out 0-2 and, and then 0-2-1. The, the Rams have not been so lucky. One in five. So who knows how this game's gonna go. They're really good overall at 83, but the assistant GM wants to talk to us or talk to us about a potential free agent fit. Where can we use depth? Probably, probably offensively, honestly. Receiver, maybe a tight end or an offensive lineman. So many Americans have experienced financial hardship over the last year, people all over the world, really. But Upstart can help you regain your footing and get back on track. If you don't know about Upstart already, it's the easy and fast way to pay off all your debt with a personal loan completely online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. They know you're more than just your credit score and they're expanding access to affordable credit. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income, your current employment, and they're gonna find you a smarter rate for your loan. It's a five minute online rate check. You can see your rate upfront for loans between one to $50,000. And the big kicker here, you can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. You can find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash bangle. That's upstart.com slash bangle. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. That link's gonna be down in the description. The loan amounts are gonna be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. All you have to do is go to upstart.com slash bangle. The link is in the description. So who are you thinking about in free agency? I can't imagine there's anyone particularly great. Latavius Murray. No. I mean, he actually probably would be pretty good, but no. Larry Fitzgerald is a free agent. <laughs> uh, I don't want Larry Fitz. This is just, these are not helpful players in a rebuild. I can't imagine the defensive options are going to be much better. <laughs> uh, it's going to be nobody. It's going to be nobody good. Josh Norman or Brandon Carr? No shot. No way. Any interest in these two? There's no option to get out of here. No. I don't want either. Give me Brandon Carr so I can cut him. <laughs> I don't want Brandon Carr. I don't want him. I don't want him. I just signed him. Sick. I didn't mean to, but uh, I signed him. Here's the breaking news. Here's the problem with that. He's not going to stick around. He's going to get cut. Cut one player. They give me a free agent thing when I don't even have the roster space. They can't make me cut Dedrick Mills. I'm cutting Brandon Carr. He, why would I want him on the team? Week seven, though. We talked about this earlier. This is a huge game. We'll check out the news. Any draft stories? Still none. Still none. But okay. Let's do a little scouting before we pop in. Did this at the end of last episode, so a little bit unusual. Let's check out off-ball linebackers. Ray Burney. No. Derek Gaines doesn't look particularly great. Andrew Mooney could be okay. Early first rounder. Definitely somebody to target in the second round for sure. Dexter Irvin, early second rounder, could be good in the third. Not too bad. Seems like we're finding a little bit of value here at linebacker. But that's all we can do right now. So we did find a potential really solid LB of the future. And let's pop in a weekly strategy. Matthew Stafford. Feels so odd to see him there. But we're going half pads. Just has to be. Just has to be half pads. We don't want to get injured. And players are getting fatigued as well. So we're going to go half pads. And just to really focus on staying healthy. And I might take a Lee McNeil out of here. And add back in Amon Ross St. Brown. It's clearly going to happen. 
And we can throw for 350 yards, I think, on this defense. Do have to watch out for Jalen Ramsey. But that's definitely something we can do. All right. Let's go. No injuries on offense. What about defense? Oh, this is the this is the offense. No injuries on either side of the ball, though. Love to see it. Before we do anything, I do want to say that Prashad Perriman is down the depth chart now. He's our fourth receiver. He's just played worse than everybody else. It's kind of what it comes down to. So I don't really see his value where we had him. Amon Ross St. Brown in the slot. Quintus Cephas has played so well. Perriman has been a major disappointment, to say the least. And Michael Brockers is back. Michael Brockers returning is huge. Let's go ahead and take on the Rams. Matthew Stafford taking the field as an L.A. Ram. We got a throwback matchup today. Rams in the old school unis. Lions are going to be in the old school unis as well. And this should be a fun one. Seeing Matt Stafford as a member of the Rams is very odd, to say the least. But we've had this one marked on the calendar for a long time. Let's see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. These uniforms are looking nice. Not that these Lions teams were all that successful. But we'll see how this one goes. Stafford drops back to throw for the first time. And time runs out. Romeo Aquara introduces himself to his former teammate. <laughs> Says, nice to see you again. Loses 11. Second and 21. Stafford out of the gun. Akers to his left. We're trying to cover everything. And Akers is wide open. Where's our defense? <laughs> Cam Akers, massive touchdown. What happened on that one? What happened? We had three deep zones and no one accounted for the one route really going deep down the field. I'm at a loss here. 7-0 Rams just like that. So as much as Jalen Ramsey is going to be an issue, we also have to deal with Aaron Donald. I don't know if you guys heard of him. He's the best defensive player any of you have ever seen probably. <laughs> like, yeah, Reggie White, Lawrence Taylor. That's Jelani Tavai's going to say in the game. I know a, a lot of you uh, are not old enough to have watched those guys play. And, you know, even Deion Sanders in his prime. But Aaron Donald is as good as any defensive player ever has been. We're just going to throw it away. Is that open enough? Ooh. Really good recovery speed. Didn't really like anything there. And we are going to be forced to punt. Not a great start to the game here for the Lions. We've been hot recently, winning a lot of games. But it seems like... And hopefully, it, it's not. But it seems like that might be coming to an end after the first series for both teams. Run to the right side. That's going to be so open. Oh, my goodness. Cam Akers just... Just killing us. It's just going to happen today. Collins meets Akers in the hole, but Akers just powers through. Four rushes for 35 yards. Already has a receiving touchdown that brings his total yards for the game over 100. It's the first quarter. And it's another first down for the Rams. Third and four. Put some pressure on Stafford. Do something to disrupt the timing of this offense. And that is incomplete. Anytime you're throwing to a number 99. Was that 89? Was that Tyler Higby? Or was that 99? It looked like 99. Can't have been, right? But anyway. They're going to have to settle for three. Rams up 10-0 early. Okay, so. Home team gains bonus momentum on defensive stops. The home team has improved coverage. And the weight team quarterback periodically has trouble seeing receivers. I don't like the sound of any of that. And, okay, so that's what's going to happen. The buttons are going to flash. There's Tyrell Williams, though, trying to get us some momentum back. Second and seven. Can we run here? We're going to try. Oh, there we go. Swift finding some holes. Third and one. Running at Aaron Donald feels like a mistake. 
but he's not shedding. Jonah Jackson's winning the matchup so far. Play action. Nobody bites on it. We're going to run. Ah. Jared Goof just gets three yards. The goofball. What is this defense? What is this defensive look by the Rams? Oh, my God. There's Aaron Donald. There he is. There's Aaron Donald. Ugh, trying to stay composed and in the pocket. Not good. Not good. Aaron Donald in the zone. That seems really bad. Throw on the run. There's St. Brown. The on the run inaccurate stopped us from getting the first there. That's kind of my bad. But we're trying not to get sacked by Aaron Donald. I'm a I am paranoid in the pocket right now. And if any player in the league is going to make you feel that way, it's Aaron Donald. The screen is shaking here. It's third and six. Play action. And we can't see the buttons. I know we had square a little bit. We're turning Hawk up the field. Goff, lower the shoulder. He's short. I really thought they'd commit to covering. Kick is up and good. Down only by a touchdown now. It was really important to get some type of points that drive. And it's not the touchdown that we wanted, but we do get some points. And our defense really needs to come up, come up strong today because the Rams have showed almost no sign of being stopped at all. So this is going to be tough. Throwing deep. Nikel Roby Coleman. It's intercepted. Let's go. Roby Coleman making the play. I really didn't think he was going to come down with that. But that's how you make a play right there. Nikel Roby Coleman gives us the football back. And just like that, we were talking about how awesome the Rams offense was. And they turn over the football right away. Running play action. We hit that. There's Quintez Cephas on the sideline. He'll stay in bounds and move the chains. Calling for a screen here. There's just no blocking. There's just no blocking. Third down and five. Make a play. Got the football out too late, I guess. This, this D-line just gets in there pretty quick. Damn. Another punt. This one we're going to try and pin them. About on the one yard line. Let's try it. Jack Fox. It's a good looking punt. Not great, but definitely good. We're going to pin them inside the 10. Okay, we're getting the hang of things. Yeah, definitely, definitely was Tyler Higby earlier with 89, not 99. He just looks huge. He looks so big. He looks like J.J. Watt on offense. <laughs> he looks just like the largest human I've seen as Stafford goes down. It's Michael Brockers, former Ram as well. He gets credit for half on that one. You know, these Lions uniforms of the 90s kind of remind me of the Seahawks uniforms at the same time. You almost think that was like Cortez Kennedy making that play. R.I.P. Lions are going to receive the punt here. All right. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a great return by Khalif Raymond, as always. Second and two. Here's DeAndre Swift. He breaks a tackle and gets the first down. That's Jarrell Casey, another new Ram. And we are set up with first down. You know, we've called a play like this across the formation a few times now. And I really think it's been close to working out. Just need everything to work out as Cephas can't catch it. It's just too long of a throw, I think, is what that comes down to. Just too long of a throw. We need them to be in man coverage here, and they're not. And we're going to bet intercepted here. Yeah, yep, yeah, knew it. You just can't, can't lob it up like that. Darius Williams with the pick. You just can't lob it up like that. You just got to throw it away or take the sack or something. The interception does not do you any favors in that spot. And uh, nothing was open. Just lobbed it up. Can't do that. Can't do that. Stafford goes down. Ball comes out. Trey Flowers recovers. Williams and Brockers. Now, 
He made a great play, but I'm not sure why Nick Williams is starting over Levi Anzarike. It seems like injuries just really kill everything. But that's a really nice play from both of them, and we have, we have the football back after the interception. He's got to not make stupid mistakes like that, as DeAndre Swift has nothing but open room. A few Rams in there as well later. Is that open? I think so. Tyrell Williams, touchdown! We're throwing it, Ramsey. We're throwing it, Williams. Tyrell just had a step. He just had a step. And we trusted the throw from Jared Goff. You know what? Sometimes it's going to be an interception, I've learned. But sometimes it's not. We had a step. We got it in there. It's 10-10. Yeah, just didn't cover that one nearly well enough. I was kind of worried about it back across on the left side of the field. Or more towards the left side of the field. So we leave Cooper Cup wide open. I mean, I think it was an instant guaranteed first down either way when they had that set up. But we just gave it to him too easily, I think. Playing underneath enough and the ball comes out again! Brockers forces it loose. His return to LA is a huge one so far. One and a half sacks, a couple of forced fumbles in the first half. Playing really, really well. It is second and 24. This is a run we might just consider calling a timeout. And it basically, oh man, we don't make the tackle. There's d -Jax. We're gonna call a timeout anyway. It's still third and long. We can have a chance to take the lead before the half. Need an incomplete pass here. That would be ideal. That would be ideal. And in man coverage, I just let that one go. And oh my goodness, Tracy Walker didn't wrap up. It's, it's not like it's not my fault there. But oh my god. Like, yeah, I, I let that open in man coverage. I thought it would be an out route based off of previous plays they run. Shaded the wrong way, and then it was way too late. But then look at this. So, like, I switch on to Will Harris, I think. Overrun it slightly. But what is Tracy Walker with the CPU doing? Just runs right past him. It, it's the air truck that gets him. Brutal. Brutal. Down 17 nothing. 56 seconds. Gets to Hawk. Looks like he didn't get out of bounds. Hold on. Hold on. Play action. Oh, I wanted to throw deep there. We're going to trust that on the run. That's going to be a pick. <laughs> Can't do that. Third and four. Do we have that? Oh, it's going to be floated up. St. Brown comes down with it, though. Okay, we'll call a timeout. Throwing it short to Swift. And he's fast enough to get some big yardage there. Terrell Burgess pushes him out. But it's a nice little gain. Okay, 16 seconds here. I don't really want to throw it to Hawkinson over the middle. I want to push him more towards the sideline. I want Tyrell Williams to take Jalen Ramsey down the field. So maybe we'll put Hawkinson on an in. And see what comes of that. Oh. That's intentional grounding. I don't get why you wouldn't throw it towards the other sideline of the way I'm running. Towards the guys running towards the sideline. Okay, that's pretty much going to be the half. I don't know if we can... If we can get a, in a field goal range here. It's going to be really tough. Gosh, that intentional grounding is really bad. But it would have been an interception. Or, if not an interception, it would have been a fumble either way. Can we get that? Jared Goff, sideline Cephas overthrew him for no reason. Hawkinson caught it and I called a timeout. Did he catch it? I think he, I think he caught it. No, incomplete. All right. Waste of a timeout. Not like that matters. And the thing is, we're just not going to be able to convert here with a Hail Mary. So the way to do it is to not make it a Hail Mary. Try to isolate these guys a different way. 
and just no one was really open. We'll just take it to Alize Mack, and that is the end of the first half. Weird half of football. We're down 17-10. Really don't have many words for it. Our offensive focus. Let's do throw it medium. Momentum completely in the way of the Rams here. So I try to cut it back. Third and two. We're going to try and run here. Like running inside zone. And that is a first down. Let's go Swift. Play action. Is that? Yeah, thank God he's X. Darren Fells. With the buttons. I mean, it's tough. It is tough. You lose track of who's who during the play. We're getting rattled again. Trying to remember everybody's button. Because it is going to disappear. But that's way, way, way too open. Amon Ross St. Brown first down. Second and five. I mean, it's funny with the momentum as we're going to throw up the middle. Tyro Williams can't catch it. It's funny with the momentum. I mean, you think everything's going for the Rams right now. But we're only down by a touchdown. A touchdown here ties the game. And you get it to Swifty, and he's so close. He's so close to the line there. Fourth and one. CPU wants us to go for it. I don't hate it. I'm going to try and get him off sides, obviously. That's worked once ever. Did we get him? Did we get him? False start. I still think it's the right. I still think it's the right call there. Just try to get him to jump. But we false started. Even though we should know we're doing hard counts. It's going to be 17-13. Again, I think it's important to get some points on the board there. Touchdown puts us on top. I think that was important. What is happening? That's glitch. Clearly. Oh my goodness. Levi Anzarike in there for the sack. Super weird there. They ran a jailbreak screen and uh, the jail doors were open for too long, clearly, because all the inmates got in and brought down Matt Stafford. So they're going deep. That one is intercepted by Amani Warawarie. That's how you take momentum back. Stafford is picked off for the second time. Warawarie has played well this year. He really has. We fit that in. Ah, they threw it right back. That's Jalen Ramsey. That's just Jalen Ramsey. Can't cover that one, I guess. Oh, no. Robert Woods inside the red zone. Yeah, you just can't throw it in Jalen Ramsey's direction. Learning that. Ah, we already knew it. It was just... It's just not the best decision. I will make those from time to time. Nice tackle, Jamie Collins. It's a run. Oh, it's an end around. Oh, Woods had a touchdown. Woods absolutely had a touchdown if he took that out wide. Looked for something inside. Wasn't there. But first down anyway. That is a touchdown. Robert Woods. I wouldn't have covered that anyway. It was on something else. But I was also taking a drink of water. Because my throat, just like my defense, just got burned. We're not in a good spot right now. No momentum. Let's still screen. Tyrell Williams with a good enough block. Quintus Cephas got the first there. Are they in man coverage right now? Surely they can't be. They're not. I don't know what the buttons are. Shoot! That's a problem. <laughs> We're taking something deep here. Quick throw to Hawkinson. He's still going and is wrapped up and brought down by Leonard Floyd. A little stretch to Jamal Williams. So you just got to be, if you're my power back, you got to be strong enough to go through him there. Third and eight. Somebody's got to get open. Under pressure, inaccurate. It was going to probably be four down territory anyway, but now on fourth and eight. Just can't even risk it. Just got to try and punt. And hopefully we pin him deep enough to get a big stop. No points allowed. That's looking pretty good. That has potential. That has potential. And that one is down at the two. Down by number two. That's what I do. Defense, we're going to allow points. Offense, I'm going to throw picks. Not going to score. But let me tell you, this is why you watch the channel. 
for the punting. Putting on a clinic. Putting on a clinic. Devai, that's a nice stop. Third and long, third and nine for the Rams. They're down, backed up into their own end zone. We're shading underneath. They might just run the football here and take the loss. Akers breaks a tackle. We need to bring him down. Five Lions converge on him and they're gonna punt. First and 10. Throwing underneath, and that is Quintez Cephas. Not out of this game just yet, obviously. Eight minutes. We need to score quickly, though. No messing around. We gotta score, like, right now. Aaron Donald, honestly, hasn't even really been a huge factor in this game. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? It's intercepted. I really did not think that was gonna happen like that. Adenabo makes a play. A, basically, a defensive end makes that play. So here's what I'm looking at. Dropping back to throw here. And we had some open guys like this. Probably could have been open. That's not open. Looking at DeAndre Swift. I thought based on the movement of 44, and you're going to look when I try to throw this ball, right? You know, right there, you see the arm go back a little bit, right? His back's turned. I think he's going to run with DeAndre Swift. And then we're going to have the drag wide open underneath. But he's just in zone coverage, sitting, waiting for it, and intercepted. I, th I really thought that was the perfect read. Because I just thought he was going to turn and run. And he just stayed right where he was. And that could be the interception that ends it here. Super frustrating. Super frustrating. And that's a touchdown. Cooper Cup threw a pretty well-covered slant. Doesn't matter, though. Touchdown, 31-13 Rams out of nowhere. Just too many mistakes. Sideline, I need you, Hawk. Big catch. Big catch. I don't think we're out of it. The three interceptions is ugly to look at. Just frustrating. Been a been a frustrating game. The Rams have been really, really good, clearly. And the buttons going away has not helped. But Quintez Cephas catches it anyway. Doesn't matter on that one. Four minutes to try and make the comeback of dreams. Probably, let's be real, probably not doable. But we'll see what we can do. We're going to try that. Super inaccurate. What are you doing? Under pressure, inaccurate. That's the game. That isn't on me. That is not on me. Jared Goofball. Awful throw. I know under pressure, inaccurate. You can't, you cannot put this throw on me. You can't. You, you cannot. Like, we have positioning really easily. And look where the ball is. It's not even near close enough to make a play. Like, yeah, we have DeAndre Swift here for a nice little check down. But that should not be intercepted by that player. <laughs> just, just shouldn't be. It's going to be the game. And that's Jared Goff just throws it behind him. Trying to get rid of that. That's Aaron Donald on that one. The game's over. Yeah, just wasn't going to be our game today. It wasn't. Gonna, I made too many mistakes. I got unlucky a lot of times as well, I feel like. And uh, that's, just, that's just the way she goes sometimes. You know, sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't. That's an unbelievable tackle by Jamie Collins. That should take us down to the two-minute warning. And they might even decide to kick this before. But they don't need to. And that is the two-minute warning. Kick is up and good. And the Lions are going to go down by even more. 41 to, what do we have, 13? 41-13 Rams. 
we just, uh, we were so close, man. We dug ourselves a bit of a hole and then instead of climbing out, just dug deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. And St. Brown catches it, but that's gonna be the game. Four picks this game. Pretty tough, pretty tough. And it's tough to keep running the ball when DeAndre Swift is averaging like less than three yards per carry. Just, uh, just unfortunate, really. That is open. Would have been nice to have that earlier. But that will be the final play of the game. We're going to drop this one 41-13. Just not our week. Not our week. Not our week. What else can you say about it? Stafford threw for four touchdowns. Two interceptions, but completed all but four of his attempts. Two of those to our team. It was tough with the goofball this week. DeAndre Swift averaged 2.5 yards per carry. It's so tough to run the ball, and I don't know why. I'm not holding R2 and accelerating as soon as we give him the ball. He's just nowhere to go. He did lead our team in catches. Yards would go to Amon Ross St. Brown. One touchdown was to Tyrell Williams. And then defensively, did get some good pressure. One and a half sacks for Nick Williams and Michael Brockers. One for Levi Anzarike and one for Romeo Aquara. Picks for Amani Urwarie and Nikel Roby Coleman. And forced fumbles for Nick Williams and Michael Brockers recovered by Trey Flowers. But we just didn't play nearly well enough in the second half. Just got killed in the fourth quarter and that was enough to lose. Just a tough one. Not much more to say about it. We're going to drop to 3-3-1 three, three, and one. Bears right on our tail at 3-3. Three, and 4-3 three. And four, and three now as they take sole lead of the NFC North. Eagles are three and four, and that's who we face in week eight. This is the last time we can make a trade. So we might be selling at the deadline. Let's just say that. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Over you, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.